Hello, this is Mr. Hornby 83. Welcome to the Mr. Hornby 83 show. And today, well, I had a bit I was going to do, but I'm, I'm going to review the Big Daddy Cool Diesel from Elite 16. I've been wanting, I'm going to have to wait until my son James had an Elite Kevin Nash and an Elite Diesel, which he's had the Diesel for a while. And, uh,. I want to do reviews of both of these. Um, I'll actually do that bit at the end of the video with you know, the Nash and the Diesel thing. I was going to do at the beginning. So let's start with the Big Daddy Cool Diesel first. Then we'll go to the Kevin Nash. So, like I said, this is the Elite 16 one. Didn't pick up the freaking Final Legend set that Target had, so... Let's start with some of the accessories that come with this. And he's got the black glove. Uh, wrist tape. The vest. The lines on this. I gotta say, this is probably the best diesel figure I've seen in a while. You know, that's the best. I think that freaking Last Legend one is pretty good. But not as good as this freaking diesel. I mean, it's pretty good, but this Diesel is when he was WWE Champion. The accessory was the WWE Championship. It wasn't actually this one. It was a different one. But I put this one with him. Um, so he's the WWF Champion. They say he was the lowest drawing champion in history. Uh, maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. But, yeah. Comes with a winged eagle belt for that near long running hand. And like I said, I think this is a pretty good diesel. The, the Legend one, I've seen it. It's a nice one too. I just like this one a little bit better. The only thing I have an issue with is that, you know, instead of the black, you know, top spot here, it's the old gray or white or whatever it is. I'm guessing it's a tank top. Here's a close look at the vest. All the details to it are pretty good. Um, articulation is good. This arm, for whatever reason, is wobbly and loose. And by the way, this is going to be a review week only. I don't have no topic videos or segment things planned yet. I'll get to all that. In the next couple of weeks. I mean, the elbow pad I had to add because he didn't freaking come with the elbow pad. And that's one of the annoying things, too. Diesel had an elbow pad. Um, Undertaker usually comes with one elbow pad when he usually wore two. Especially when he was in the ministry and all that. But, you know, overall, I like this figure. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. It's a bit nicked up a little. It fell a few times, so. And it fell off the shelf, and the wobbly arm is not cool. I actually found this at the Walmart in Alexandria. And my mom actually bought this for my son. But, uh. Tattoos on him's pretty good. You can't see him because I got the elbow pad, but let me. There's his tattoo detail. Those are the accurate tattoos he had. And this is a rare figure to find. And the reason why it took me so... I'm glad I found it when I did it at the Walmart. Because if not, had I not convinced my mom to get it for James, and that little design on the back, had I convinced my mom to get it for James, he probably would have never found this freaking diesel. But, nonetheless, pretty good figure. Um... Not much more to say about that one. Now on to the Kevin Nash. Which. I'm going to take the WCW version of the World Heavyweight title out of its hand. Show you. What you saw in the unboxing that I did with my son. The Black Ops Killer last year. When I got him a bunch of the Wolfpack figures. I got him the Wolfpack Macho Man. Wolfpack Hogan. 
Scott Hall, he already had had. Um, Wolfpack Sting also got that for him. But, let's get to the accessories that come with this thing, you know. First accessory is the spray paint with the red tip on it for the wolf pack which they never really used until they did the wolf pack elite thing with Hogan in them and the red NWO logo WWE version of the world heavyweight title why do I say that because of the side plates and all that you know there's so many differences which I've done numerous videos where I've talked about the differences between the WCW versions of the figures of these figure belts and the WWE versions, which the WWE versions are smaller. And what they did is they made the top part smaller. The frickin' top part is smaller. The side plates are kind of a rectangular instead of square. Like, you know, on here... It's square and all that, but mm, on here, it's more rectangular. And also, Kevin Nash came with these shades that, you know, he wore, even though he never wore them before he went into a match at all. Um, you unveil the face, face scan's pretty good, just like with the diesel. Uh, that's before they did the real technology. And some issues I got with this one, though. And I'm going to point it out also. The Scott Hall. I forgot which Elite one that was that came out. The Elite Scott Hall. That came out a couple years ago. I forgot what set it was. But it came out with the AJ Styles set. Is I don't like the fact that his hair is in a ponytail because he never, he never really wrestled with the ponytail, and his hair is brown. And as you can see with Diesel, his hair is black, his beard's black, but his beard and hair is brown hair, and he usually had blonde hair, especially around the time when he was like a singles wrestler, fighting for the championship. Now, I do like the spray can. Not too keen on them trying to push the WWE versions as the WCW title. I don't like it with the Cruiserweight title either. Because there's so many differences between the Cruiserweight and the freaking WWE and the WWE version of the Cruiserweight belt. And I just don't freaking like it like that. I mean... That's something Mattel really irritates me with. Now, I gave an idea last year when I talked about some WCW figure belts. But other than that, I like this Kevin Ash figure. The freaking Elite 16 one. With how pricey it is and how hard it is to find, I'm just glad I grabbed this one up for him. Before this one became a pricey, you know, one. But, um, yeah. Well, anyway, get ready to do the bit and I'll do some shout outs. But as far as the diesel goes, I give him. I'll give him a three and a half out of five. And the Kevin Nash, I'll give a three out of five, you know. I do like the diesel more, and you know, Nash does not come with a freaking vest either. But Diesel does. The only problem is no elbow pads. I had to freaking put the elbow pads on these guys. And, you know, I mean, yeah, they're pretty much the same height. The ponytail really hurts me, but, you know. So, three and a half for this one. And three for this one. Anyway. Look at me. WWF champion. I am a superstar now. Because I got the WWF championship. Hey, psst. Come here. What? I'm you from the future. What are you talking about? 
Hey, you see that tiny thing there? Why you carry that tiny thing when you could carry this big thing here? Big gold championship. You get a booker spot in WCW. You revolutionize, you know, the industry. So you think you're a star now? Wait till you hit WCW. Oh, yeah, I'd like to go to WCW, man. Alright. So. Don't forget. 96, man. Go there, 96. They'll put you in a match with Undertaker. Now be your. And you get a match with Shawn Michaels. So, yeah. Alright, man. Oh yeah, hey, check it out. Hey man, where you got my belt? Hey, you got my belt. Yeah, well, you know what? Lost. Oh, they booted themselves. Alright, anyway. Enough goofing around. <laughs> that was bad. I'm just tired. Getting ready to go to bed and everything. But, um, yeah, I like both the figures. I just think the Nash, they should have freaking put. And, you know, the whole spray paint thing and the spray painted belt. First of all, you know, the spray painted belt, when Nash won it, never freaking, never got spray painted until they did the figure Poker Doom with Hogan. Which I talked about in my, you know, WCW Championship in 1999 video. Um, you know, I just feel like, you know, if this freaking Nash had the same head sculpt as that Elite 16 Kevin Nash, it'd be awesome. I've been trying to find that basic one that, you know, came with the little band thing, but freaking, I'm going to get these guys put up real fast, the little band thing, the fan central one. Had I found that, I probably would have swapped the heads out, because I know how to swap the heads on these figures now. Due to a couple of YouTubers that, you know, have done figure swapping videos. But yeah, I like the Na I like the Diesel a little more than Nash. I mean, you know... Honestly... The reason why I like the Diesel is because he's pretty much almost accurate to what he was at that time. Nash, the ponytail, and the hair not being blonde was a bit of an issue for me. Uh, so, let's get to some shout-outs real fast. First off, of course, you know, I'm going to look out for some of my family. But, you know, first off, I'd like to give a shout-out to Black Ops Killer. He just did a prediction on which characters he thinks going to be in Mortal Kombat 11. What he thinks going to happen in Mortal Kombat 11. And it's a prediction. I'll do a lot of Mortal Kombat 11 stuff when it gets to Mortal Kombat month in June. Since that game's coming out this year. A lot of my attention for Mortal Kombat month will be toward Mortal Kombat 11. I'll talk about it. I was thinking about doing a countdown. But I got other things like, you know, Wrestle Game Mania. Which I got to pick up some more freaking WrestleMania games or wrestling games in general. I still got a couple I haven't used yet for you. Like I did last year. Uh, the Black Ops Killer. Then I'm going to give a shout out to Elite Best 3. He, um, I think he's doing PUBG videos right now. Uh, Heavy Metal Turtle. He just did a video talking about he got the PlayStation Classic. And from what I hear, PlayStation Classic is not as good as the NES Classic or SNES Classic. And I don't know how the 64 Classic is. Haven't got a chance to pick that one up yet either. But looks like I may have to postpone my freaking Sega CD because my freaking PS2 got ruined again. Uh, so Heavy Metal Turtle. Uh, JR's gameplays and more. He just did a, leave a gameplay video. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to the Nostalgic Critic because he just did a commer uh, video about the Eminem 
commercials from back in the day and what they're doing currently with them. Uh, Minty Comic Arts, he just did a video on the, on the, uh, the long, 10 things you didn't know about the lawnmower man. Awesome movie, by the way. I like the first one. Never seen the second one. I hear it's bad. And other, and what was the other one he did? He had a, you know. Oh, Legend. He also did one on Legend, which is another movie I kind of like. It's one of my, probably one of the only Tom Cruise movies I like, and probably the reason why is because nostalgic, because when I watch it now, it's like, oh my God, how the heck did I like this movie? Anyway. <laughs> uh... Also on YouTube, I just did the uh, the live sh my second live stream on YouTube. I did at Crunch Fitness. Me and my cousin Brandon worked out. We did not get to the super brawly, you know, Dragon Ball Super Brawly review. Although I did like it, has now become you know a, the original Brawly movie was my favorite Dragon Ball movie. Next to that was History of Trunks, but I don't know, I've seen Dragon Ball Super Broly. That's not my favorite. And it's probably the best Dragon Ball movie they've ever made. Period. Uh, I like the way they did Broly in the movie. I like the way they did Bardock, Raditz, and all them. It showed how them guys were not there at the time. They freaking Planet Vegeta got blown up in that. So, it was pretty nice. It was nice to see characters like Doria and, you know, the Ginyu Force again and seeing, uh, also seeing King Cold again. And I'm sorry if some of those are spoilers for you, but the movie was on a limited release, so if you didn't see it, I think probably Saturday was the last day you had a chance to see it, or Sunday. So if you didn't get to see it, I'm sorry if I spoiled a couple things. Now, those characters only show up briefly, but you do see them. Uh, but yeah, I really like Dragon Ball Super Broly. I thought it was the best Dragon Ball movie I've seen. I think it's way better than, you know, Battle of Gods. And I think it was way better than Resurrection F. And... I can't wait to see what they do with Super After This. Hopefully it's coming back for another show. Coming back from their hiatus. They wanted to build this movie. So hopefully it's coming back from that. And we'll see where they go from there. Uh, so yeah. I did a video from Crunch. Uh, my next video will probably be a review to. A review of uh, the NECA... Silent Night, Deadly Night, Billy figure on the blister card. Not like an Ultimate Edition or nothing like that. So I'll probably do that next. Then next week, I got a couple of topics. I got, you know, All Elite Wrestling. So many people have been asking me about it. What do you think about it? How do you think it feel? I've heard other people talk about it, give their opinions on what they think should happen with it. I'll give my opinion on All Elite Wrestling. Also... I'll let you know what the other topic video is the following week, or uh, when I do the freaking only one. But go check out the Crunch Fitness one, because my cousin Brandon gave me a scare at the beginning of the workout, and I think it was a pretty good video, other than, you know, I made a couple coaching mistakes too on it, but uh, other than that, I think it was a pretty good video. Y'all should check it out. Uh, like I said, it was my second live stream I've done on YouTube. If y'all check that out. And, um, you know, if you guys check it out, I'll do more live streams, more outdoor stuff. And I will do one from the Crunch out here where I live. Because the one me and my cousin Brandon went to was Monday. I might do some kind of video for freaking RK Legacy because me and my brother-in-law JC is going to RK Legacy this Saturday. I haven't been there. I've been there looking around, but I haven't been there to play any games for about, I think since the birth, 
since uh, well, since my son's birthday party, uh, where I played Mortal Kombat 3 uh, Ultimate, I still have to get through. You know, trying to get through without losing once, at least until I get to Shao Connor and Mataro. But yeah, if you check those videos out, check out that Crunch Fitness one. I'll do one from where I live. I have to take somebody with me. And I can do other live streams from other places, like if I go to the Comic Con this year, which I plan to do, the Cincy Comic Expo, like I did, you know, a couple years ago. Try to do a live stream from there this time instead of, you know, recording right after I've left the convention. Which we were still inside the area where they were having the convention, but you didn't get to see anything on the floor. So check that out. I'll try to do some more. I talked to my friend Eugene about, you know, possibly next time I'm up that way. Not this Saturday. But next time I'm there, me and him should go. He could check it out. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the uh, Wolfpack Kevin Nash and the uh, Elite 16 Diesel, which, you know, Wolfpack Kevin Nash was uh, exclusive for ringside. And I went on and on and on and on and on. But anyway, uh, so yeah, tune in either, tune in Saturday. I did a review of my Silent Night, Deadly Night, NECA figure. Billy, that's the newest NECA figure I got. Target has the freaking Terminator 2 figures. They got the Terminator, the T-800, and then the T-1000, and I want to pick them up as well. The contest is still going on. you got about a week and a half left to answer. If you can guess what my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th is, in the same comment, I gave the hint. You know, my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street came out in 1989. And my favorite Friday the 13th was the last one for four movies where they didn't have a different actor playing Jason. So, that'll do it. Catch you guys later. Peace out. Now I gotta end this thing.